Coming up on this edition of Southwest TV News. Renewable resources are a hot topic of discussion, and a new solar project near Swift Current is about to take shape. The human service sectors will play a very valuable role in, you know, when they're meeting with their clients suggesting this resource. And now the Swift Current branch has teamed up with the United Way of Saskatoon and Regina for the official launch of the 211 phone service. The last several months have brought little to no precipitation for Southwest Saskatchewan, and Environment Canada doesn't expect this trend to change anytime soon. Thanks for joining us here today. Sask Power has announced another new project for Southwest Saskatchewan. We find out what that is in today's top story. Renewable resources are a hot topic of discussion, and a new solar project near Swift Current is about to take shape. Sask Power has announced a partnership with Saturn Power to construct a 10 megawatt project in the arm of Cooley just east of Swift Current. The 20 year power purchase contract falls in line with Sask Power's overall mandate. SAS Power is committed to uh, managing emissions as we work to meet uh, the growing electricity needs of our province. So we set a goal back in 2015 of reducing emissions by 40% over 2005 levels by 2030, and that will involve an increase in our renewable generation capacity from about 25% now to 50%. So in terms of solar, we plan to include 60 megawatts of solar by 2021. The High Field Solar Project is Saskatchewan's first ever utility-scale solar project project and will be in service by the end of 2019. It is a 10 megawatt solar project. Uh, we anticipate this will be about enough power to provide electricity or provide the equivalent electricity needed to power about 2,000 homes. There's still some preliminary work that needs to be done before there's actually sort of a, a groundbreaking, if you will. Uh, there's still uh, some uh, environmental uh, things that the uh, proponent needs to uh, uh, make sure are, are in line and whatnot. But, you know, it, it, depending on how long that takes, uh, we, we're hoping to uh, see something happening potentially later this year. And again, we're hoping to see this project online producing power for Saskatchewan residents as soon as the end of 2019. The Highfield Solar Project in southwest Saskatchewan is the first endeavor between Sask Power and Saturn Power. Saturn Power is a renewable energy company based out of Baden, Ontario, and has over 100 megawatts of solar, wind and energy storage projects in operation and construction worldwide. Frontier Days has been a tradition in Swift Current for 80 years. And as the Swift Current Ag and X celebrates this milestone in 2018, an exciting lineup of entertainment awaits you. Including the Frontier Days Parade, CCA Rodeo, Grandstand Entertainment with the James Barker Band and Bobby Wills, and the sights and sounds of the Midway. Frontier Days in Swift Current, June 28th through July 1st. Hats off to 80 years. The Swift Current United Way is involved in a new provincial program called 211. The Swift Current United Way plays a vital role in the community, working with various agencies to assist local residents who face various hurdles or other circumstances in their everyday life. And now the Swift Current branch has teamed up with the United Way of Saskatoon and Regina for the official launch of the 211 phone service, an outreach service available to all Saskatchewan residents to better deal with life's challenges. The 211 service was originally launched in Toronto in 2003 and is now expanded through Ontario, Nova Scotia and Saskatchewan using an online and telephone component. When you're confused, when you're in stress and when you're in a crisis point, when you do not know where you're going or where, you, where the help you need is, you may not even know that there is help available and, and with, with a simple number like 211 you can text Enter it into your phone, hit text and say, this is what I need, help me. And the phone service uh, is available in over 100 language, languages, including seven Indigenous languages. The 211 expansion in Saskatchewan has come to light, thanks to sponsors through the Community Initiatives Fund and Can Pacific Potash, 
which saw over 110,000 inquiries alone last year through its online service alone. And it depends on the time of the year. Uh, there'll be in, um, increases and decreases. And so, you know, very typically, homelessness, food insecurity, financial assistance, those are the top, uh, top searches that people are looking for support. But it definitely differs from north to south of the province. And so that is really important. So we can start to look. We can't just look at the whole province and say, this is, you know, overall this is what we need and it's consistent across the province. It isn't. And so to be able to look at different parts of the province, different cities, you know, and, and that sort of thing will be really useful information for us going forward. And for communities such as Swift Current and the outlying areas of the Southwest, the expansion of the 211 system will be of greater benefit to those in outlying areas, with plans to work with various community partners to further promote the new phone service. I think a large part of that will be the human service sectors will play a very valuable role in, you know, when they're meeting with their clients suggesting this resource, um, getting our, you know, municipalities, both urban, rural, involved um, to also, right, make it available within their communities. Um, and that is one we're going to be reaching out to the all the RMs in our area to help, right, share this resource to their towns and the communities of Southwest um, Saskatchewan. The 211 system is available seven days a week across Saskatchewan through phone, text, and online chat services. Frontier Days has been a tradition in Swift Current for 80 years. And as the Swift Current Ag and X celebrates this milestone in 2018, an exciting lineup of entertainment awaits you. Including mini chuck wagon and wild pony races and the FMX motocross show. And dance the night away during two exciting cabarets featuring Mitchler Rock and the 454 Band and the Chris Buck Band. Frontier Days in Swift Current, June 28th through July 1st. Hats off to 80 years. Well, summer is officially here, and according to Environment Canada, it's going to be a hot, dry summer. The summer season has officially arrived, and as we all look forward to spending more time outdoors, many are keeping their eyes on the sky, hoping for rain. The last several months have brought little to no precipitation for southwest Saskatchewan. And Environment Canada doesn't expect this trend to change anytime soon. The seeds of this kind of dryness have been uh, around for a long time. I mean, since the 1st of January, um, uh, the area of south Swift Current and, and southwestern Saskatchewan have had maybe 50% of their annual precipitation. Um, but it's, it's even got worse in, in recent weeks. Um, if we look at the May and, and June, about a third of what you've had. But if we take a look from, say, maybe about the middle of May, the 12th to this end of June, it's only been about a, a 20%. I mean, 15 millimeters of, of moisture compared to what you'd need is about 75. And, and the sad news is that June is normally your wettest month. When the last week of May, the June, and the first week of July, you typically get almost half of your rainfall for the whole year occurs in that that period you know i mean there's been chances of rain here and there there have been 30 percenters i don't even carry an umbrella for 30 percent and as we take a look at the long-term weather outlook for southwest saskatchewan Phillips says it'll be a typical saskatchewan summer essentially what you see is what you're going to get uh, temperatures across the province are, uh, we're looking at they're going to be warmer than normal in July and August and into September. Um, not every day and not every week, but we think the flavor of the of the season ahead is going to be warmer than normal. A lot more American air coming northward. As the crops grow, there'll be more humidity in the air, but it's a question of precipitation. And we often, in our forecast, don't give you an indication of what precipitation is going to be for a 90-day period because it's just not that accurate. Well, unfortunately, we, we guess we see the runs of the, of the models and they're saying drier than normal. So, um, but you know, we're not always right. We do change our minds. So my hope is that, hey, we will see some 
some added moisture and uh, be enough uh, systems that come through to drop enough rain that that keep uh, keep it from being a, a, a very huge disappointment. The normal high for this time of the year for the Swift Current area is 24 degrees with an overnight low of 10. Well, this brings to a close another episode of Southwest TV News, reporting the stories that matter to you. We always welcome your news tips. You can always reach us here by phone at our studio or by email to contact us at southwesttvnews.com. Also, be sure to join us daily online for the latest news from across Southwest Saskatchewan and so much more at southwesttvnews.com. And be sure to follow us on a range of social media. Thanks for joining us here today. I'm Carol Andrews.